As you are aware, blood is our life force and is circulated around the body through the blood vessels by the heart. It contains loads of important substances that are essential for life. There is about four to six litres of blood in the body and it is made up of two things, the plasma and the formed elements. The plasma is the fluid portion of the blood and accounts for about 55% of the total amount of blood volume. It is primarily water which contains dissolved substances like foods, salts and hormones. The other 45% of blood volume is made up of the formed elements, the white blood cells, the red blood cells and the platelets. You often hear doctors discussing a person's white blood cell count when they are sick. And this is because the function of the white blood cells is to protect the body against toxins and foreign material. White blood cells are like the soldiers of the body. They identify and then attack the enemies, like the viruses, bacteria and fungi. When someone is sick, the white blood cell count increases because there are more soldiers trying to attack the enemy or fight off whatever infection is present. Red blood cells are vital because their job is to carry gases, both oxygen and carbon dioxide. They do this via the haemoglobin molecule in the cell. The heme part of the molecule carries the oxygen and the globin part of the molecule carries the carbon dioxide. Haemoglobin is like a shuttle bus. It takes its passengers to the required destination. Oxygen gets dropped off at the mitochondria in the cells and carbon dioxide gets dissolved into the plasma then transported to the lungs where it is expired into the air. Since oxygen can only be transported on the haemoglobin bus, it is important that we have adequate amounts of it. The greater the number of healthy functioning red blood cells, the greater the capacity for transporting oxygen. In addition, because haemoglobin is made up of lots of iron, it is vital that we get good amounts of iron in the diet. If there is a decrease in the amount of iron in the diet, poor absorption of iron or excessive blood loss, it can cause a decrease in haemoglobin, which obviously leads to a decrease in the carrying capacity of oxygen. This is not ideal as it decreases our overall functioning and if left untreated can cause a condition known as anemia. People who exercise a lot, menstruating women and in particular pregnant women require higher amounts of iron compared to their counterparts due to the extra demands being placed on their bodies.